we had heard that there was this need for covers for N95 masks and that people were running out. And of course, as soon as we saw that people were sewing them, we thought, well, we can do that. Um, and so we started producing them. And so that's kind of how we got here. It wasn't just a single person, but once one person came up with the idea of, can we do something to help? When it became obvious that there was a shortage of uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, and um, that might be a need we could help meet, then I jumped on it, our, our managing director jumped on it. A lot of people jumped in and were like, let's try and make this happen. Because it is something we can do from home. It is something that my staff, who can't really work on costumes from home, but they could do this. It feels so odd that we have a skill set that's needed right now, but we are so grateful to be able to put it to good use. You know, it certainly helps. It is a great stabilizer for us to, you know, kind of have a set schedule and have goals. You know, we have helped over 35 different hospitals and uh, doctor's offices. Um, and so, you know, each week we kind of start knowing that we're going to try and provide masks for, you know, X, Y, and Z this week. So it really gives us that motivation. I think it was a growing point for me to see that we could jump into any situation and just make it work. You don't have to have meetings and plan it and all of that. You just jump in, you say, how can I help and do it? And it's wonderful because, you know, in the real, real world of, of what we do, we never get to work with the opera or the ballet. We know them, but we don't ever get to actually like work together. And so it's really gratifying to come together with another group of artists, all in this same endeavor to try and, and be helpful with all this going on. For the most part, the feedback that we're getting is that it's just relieving to them that they have something they can take home and wash because they were using their N95 masks for weeks at a time and you really can't wash them. You can't truly sterilize them. So we can definitely tell the relief from that point of view. And then um, it's bizarre how grateful they are because we're just sewing cloth together with ribbons on it, you know, but it makes such a difference for them to be able to get one. I'm sure for these women and men that sew, you know, to see their costumes up on the stage has got to be amazing. I mean, I would, I would think that would be so amazing. But now to know that what they are doing as far as making masks that are protecting and possibly helping to save lives, I mean, have they ever done anything like that before? They should all think of it in that way, that they're saving our lives. There's no words for that. I mean, that's priceless. One thing I've loved about this is just seeing all the different art organizations coming together and helping out. This has just been a wonderful experience to be like, you know, we really can help. I mean, I believe art helps in so many ways that people don't understand all the time, but it's just great to be able to help out.